So, JY family, this incident happened in Trinidad where a truck ran over a lady and that was it for her. So, the big blue truck with the right in front of her, we wanted to keep her eyes on the screen because sooner or later, you're going to see a lady approaching this, the truck, signal the driver, say, look here, like when you're in a traffic, me I go pass. Not in so much word, but just no same signal the driver. But for some strange reason, I don't know what happened. But the truck happened to run right over the lady. And as you guys can see on your screen, the lady is of a slim build. So, she couldn't survive. Trust me, the truck parried her out. JY family, I me say the truck parried her out. I don't know what thing go. Code. Yeah, man. Me have the video. Me I go send it in my group. No, please. Listen carefully. Don't call me. Just text me on WhatsApp. Don't send me SMS message. Because I cannot reply to SMS message. Especially if you're out of the US. Just send me WhatsApp only. Alright? And I repeat, don't call. Yeah. When we get me that trouble. So tell you no otherwise you hide me I hide and do YouTube. Don't call me. <laughs> so yeah, JY family. 775-378-1640. But the thing about this video is telling you now. Because if you guys realize the truck driver make a first break, him jam the break first, and then him still end up run over. So me don't know what go on. And JY family, please remember. Sometimes when the things that the truck driver sooner, them not sooner, the truck have blind spot. Every vehicle have blind spot. If you're a driver, yeah, you will understand exactly what I mean. But you have some part for the vehicle. Once the person there that the part there, yeah. see them none at all. If you have a friend who have a truck, I would advise you to go inside that truck and try to look at the road. I um, make a just just make a all a person stand up right at the um right in front of the truck or beside the truck. Yeah man, right same place where you mirror the right there. So trust me, you would be surprised. So a lot of you think the drivers see you, the truck drivers. Yeah man, them not see you. Remember me tell you, majority of the time. Yeah, but in this incident still, I don't know because. I see the lady beckon to the driver, signal the driver. You see me, so I don't know what go on, but this year after everything happened, check out this part of the video. So that was the driver talking to the police officer and you could hear the driver said he did not see her you see me did not saw her so i don't know what is going to be the outcome of this but um i put this picture on your screen to remind you whenever you're driving behind a truck i see something mark this cash on your brakes well all of the truck should have this sign on it now, if a truck driving at a certain speed, right, the truck cannot just stop like a, a, a regular car. Yeah, you, sometimes some car hardly can stop. You know, depends on the speed, much less a truck. Cars and air brake, they must gear down and take out the, the pressure. I never, never hear the truck and drive it and then hear <coughs> and I take them and take out the gear them a gear down, gear down, gear down then you can just step on the brake so and the, and the truck just stop you see me so when you see truck when you play with truck you can't do a hurry 
if you can't wait for cross the road, I'm not saying this lady is wrong. Me just uh, go above and beyond. Remember, I want to give me the pla this platform if you do the job, not you. So, me just want to know because me see a lot of these things. Yeah, remember Brittany Hunter lose her life same way. Then the next call center girl, two call center girl, plus one next girl. So, I don't play with Chuck, man. I don't stay far from Chuck. Even when you drive same way, give the Chuck a distance. And then when you can go around, you go around the Chuck. Chuck has something for you to play with. Because he can't just tap like that. I don't know big driver. You know? And since I come to America, I start driving. I did Jamaica. I fall, me also drive off a dresser. She fall, you understand? But when you get the test and then something, you have to read up about them, something here and thing, you know? And the distance be, um, behind a vehicle and them, something there. So these are basic things, you see me? Yeah, so, tell your family, as me say, link me for the video, then you know, can see the whole thing. 775 And if you know more about trucks, you can leave it down in the comment section, you know. Yeah, man, other person can see it and interact. Yeah, man, filter the information, man. Not no wrong, not true. Yeah, man, each one teach one. And if me wrong, you know, can't correct me the same way. A jam at me. do correct me. No, JY family, moving on right now. Hey, the group, I go busy today, you know. Yeah, man, because this next um story me I go cover, me have the raw video. Me I go share in the group. And when I not join the group, don't let the group. If me realize, say, you text me back and I say, JY, more come in the group. I mean, no, say, you're in the group already. I don't go look for you. I don't have time for you. Yeah, man. Just like when you say, yeah, no, I glass, me and I glass. So, anyway, I have this accident with me. I go share in the group also. Fairy two vehicle collision in St. Anne leaves one man dead, another injured. JY family, if you see what they take out, then man, be your DY. I tell you, say, God, you could survive. A man from Trelawney died as a result of injuries sustained in a Fury 2 vehicle. A legend Salem Main Road in Runaway, B.S. St. Anne, on Tuesday morning. These have been identified as Daniel McFarlane of Rio Bueno. Reports indicate that McFarlane was driving a white Toyota Mark X when upon reaching the vicinity of Joel's Hotel, the vehicle collided with a black Toyota Crown. McFarlane vehicle reportedly burst into flames. The driver of the Toyota Crown was taken to hospital. Investigation are ongoing. As we say, trust me. That in that accident, trust me, it's something to see. As long as your heart strong, yeah. But if your heart weak, no bother with you. Remember me tell you, it's not a good look. This report we are going to talk about is this double murder that happened in Mandiver. Double murder wounded with intent in Albion District, Mandiver. It was committed on Tuesday, August 3rd, 2024, about 9.20 p.m. at Batam Albion. This is, so far, Kalu's Tulls. Otherwise called Rasta. He is 29 years old. He is a merchandiser of Albion District. And Henry Brown. Otherwise called Iceman. He's a 44 year old businessman of Barnstaple District, Manchester. Injured is Cashian Morgan. Otherwise called Tripper. Information is that the now deceased men were inside a bar. Operated by Armlock Williams, otherwise called Face, a 49 year old businessman of Mayday District, Manchester, when a man unknown to them entered the bar and bought a cigarette and left. Shortly after, a man wearing a hoodie mask, his face entered the said premises and opened gunfire on the men, killing the now deceased men. Then escape and foot in the area. Williams hid in the bathroom of the said premises while Morgan escaped at the front of the building and ran to Mayday High School. He was 
after assisted to the Mandeville Regional Hospital where he is undergoing treatment. Investigation continue and further update when followed. Council for the North Patrick Division waking up to the tragic news of another senseless killing in the community of Albion in the North Patrick Division where two young men lost their life and one is in the hospital treating gunshot wound. It's never a good thing for any community. It instills fear in the community, a normally quiet community, and it instills fear in the community. And we are encouraging anybody who has anything to do with it, who know anything to just try and assist the police in bringing whoever is responsible to this to a quick justice. We need to act more as a community. Somebody must know something. So we're asking any information you can assist the police with in helping them to solve this, this gruesome murder quickly would be highly appreciated. No Any idea what, what the motive was? You know, I you have, have absolutely no robbery idea about the motive. I am not sure. I, I doubt it is robbery, but I have no idea what the motive would be. Absolutely no idea. Based on information that you're picking up on, on the ground, um, have you heard whether whether the, the culprit or culprits stole anything from the bar after? Well, I heard on leaving the bar, they took up some items, I think money, cigarette or some other items, I'm not quite sure, but that's just word of more person saying things. No doubt an incident like this at times, the police clamp down on the area and reduce the, night, the nightlife for, for, for our residents. Talk to me about that and, and the importance of residents coming forward. Well, to be honest, anything that makes the North Patrick Division safer, I am fully involved. I'm into it. So if it means a lockdown, a curfew, as long as we bear fruit from it, then I'm fully for it. So JY family, me go cut out here now. Me soon come back with another update because this young man was killed right after he finished UE. He did not even get to pick up his certificate. We soon come back. We know uh overwhelmed, you know. So look out for that in the next update. Subscribe, like, share. The death of a teenage boy from New Haven in Kingston at the hands of the police has deemed the rift between residents and law enforcement in the space. Now residents' claims of police brutality and the innocence of the victim have been countered by reports that the deceased was anything but innocent after he was reportedly relieved of a firearm in the encounter. Case of 17-year-old Javon Hall, the facts surrounding his death rest somewhere between what residents and the young teens who allegedly sat with his body say and what the police reported of their encounter as the whole truth. One truth being a Kingston teenager is dead at the hands of the police. Residents blocked a section of the Washington Boulevard, decrying the incident early Tuesday morning. Now what follows are the claims of residents and eyewitnesses who are now demanding justice. The police kill a 17-year-old little boy for him orientation. Kill him for him orientation. And tell the 14-year-old and the 16-year-old, say, and you're talking about kill them too. Him shot, him back the 14-year-old. Tell them to take off them slippers and put in at the jeep mark. Him turn to them and say to them, say, me kill the whole child. Me not no evidence. The police woman said, no, kill them. A police from the Reddings Division coming to the Kingston 20 Division. Come do that. Kill the little boy them and take what them sippers. Look at girl close them and their blood up. No one the little boy. And their mother dead. Now their accounts took a different tone from that of the police, who hours later on Tuesday in a statement, Maintain Hall, a student of Boulevard Close in Kingston 20, was fatally shot during a confrontation with the police in Coralville Gardens at around 4.30 in the morning. Police also reported 
A Taurus pistol with magazine containing seven 9mm rounds of ammunition was seized during the incident. That sequence of events later on prompted the placard bearing residents to contend. Things grew testy at one point as a police approached the irate civilians urging them not to return the barricade while also reminding those gathered Indicom has already launched an investigation to determine the facts. JY family, come on man, come on. You can't read so far and don't press the like button. Hit the bell icon to be notified. And this is the channel you need to subscribe to that you didn't know you need to subscribe to. Do the right thing, man. Me love Jamaica, me not sell out. Them try clip with wings, somehow we can't fly out. But when we there, yeah, nothing nice like Jamaica, rosebud fruit and banana. Under the tree with a glass of